ready. Boom, extra intro stuff today. Um, welcome to uh, Meant to Offend here on Corrupted Nation YouTube channel. Of course, I'm Joe Cronin from the Joe Cronin Show with 67,000 subscribers over on my other channel. Uh, but this is non-sports, usually non-wrestling about anything. And here we are with Meant to Offend today. Eddie Murphy, motherfucker. What up, Eddie Murphy? Says men and women react differently when they hear um, he has 10 kids. And he talks about having 10 kids. And this is, for whatever reason, uh, just blowing up all over the Internet. Eddie Murphy's proud father of 10 children ranged from the ages 1 to 30. Guy just won't stop having kids. Uh, he's also a grandfather. Um uh, a lot of people uh, react all differently. It's something he said on Ellen, so it's probably why it's just being searched everywhere about his kids. You know, there's sick people out there who want to look for his 30-year-old. Any kid over 18, there's people searching for him right now to get in on the family. I mean, there's sick people out there. Like, that's a real thing that's going on right now. I know that that sounds insane. And that you're out there, you're thinking, like, that's, you know, ridiculous. That's not happening. It, it's, it's, ha it's absolutely happening right now that... There, there's people who are like looking up to see if he has any 16 year old kids anybody they can start to groom by the time they're 18 so they can inherit some money or something like I swear to God to you right now that that is going on and it, and it happens every time some rich person talks about their kids then people go who are the kids and what are their names where are they you know so and I'm not kidding about it. it's so weird to say this to bring this up but I mean there's at least there's at least a couple thousand people out there that are doing that right now, you know? Then there's about 80,000, like, women just looking up the articles like, Oh, look at this. Oh, he has so many kids. Like, I don't know. Maybe guys are doing it, too. I don't know. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i talking about it, so what the hell does that mean? I don't know. Um, there's also a bunch of news about Tom Holland. The only thing I get to say about Tom Holland is this son of a bitch is in, like, 70 movies coming up. This guy, I believe Tom Holland is in seven movies in the next two two years, and I'm not. That's not a joke. Within the next, um, within the rest of 2019, which isn't much left, obviously, 2020 and 2021, Tom Holland has a bunch of crap coming out. And in my next video, I'm going to talk about YouTube Rewind. But goddamn, if YouTube Rewind isn't one of the worst things ever. Uh, but there you go. I wanted to bring up the Eddie Murphy thing just because it was so talked about. The guy has 10 kids, man. Wouldn't it be great if they're all different races, too? Like, he had a couple mixed kids with white women. He had a couple Asian, black, mixed, Hispanic, mixed. And he just has this whole big crop of, like, cultural Eddie Murphy. That's a great idea. If I was a rich celebrity and I was, like, one of those people obsessed with planting my seed everywhere or something like that, that would be a great idea. I'd go out, I'd bang two different white chicks, two different black chicks, two different Asian type. Well, and actually, I'd go all kinds of different Asian. I'd go for Chinese, uh, Japanese, maybe a Vietnamese in there, and, uh, you know, a couple Hispanic, you know, and I'd really like, and then I'd take a big picture of all my kids, and I would be like, believe it or not, this orange, black, and white cream pie is actually all my children. It's unbelievable. And you'd have, like, the colors of the rainbow as your kids. It would be quite amazing to me. And I'd be down with that. That'd be really fun. God damn, would that be fun. Anyway, we got more coming up right now for you right now. Hope you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below. But listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I might be, like, I'm pretty sure that, like, I'm classified with like actually learning dis like a learning disability. I might be the only one here with a disability. That might well, be true. I'm, I'm disabled, but well, you're dis okay, yeah, but I'm mentally disabled. So they took my brain and threw it in a jar. I mean, it says it on a on on the test that I took at school. You know, what I mean, <laughs> I mean, learning disability and ADHD and ADD and. You know, like, extreme deficiency. Like, I mean, like, I have a whole thing. But I demanded to be in the regular classes. That's the difference. I was like, no, I don't want to be in the class with the kid who picks his nose and walks into the wall. Nobody and wants that. No. Absolutely nobody. But they were like, you should be in that class. And I was like, no. I mean, I've, got, struggle. I've got the goddamn paperwork, you know? Because they were, like, trying mm -hmm. to figure out, like, why don't you do these? Like, what's wrong with you? Because they were like, you do this and you do that. And... 
you get these other things done. Why did you not do these things? And they were just always bewildered. So eventually they were like, we recommend he gets tested. So they tested me. So, I mean, I'm legitimately here with a learning disability, and uh, I wish you guys would stop bullying me, you know? <laughs> Sorry, we, we need to Never. be more sensitive to your uh, your ailments. Yeah. We, 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 your, we need a safe situation. space for you. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one thing. If I could have had a safe space in school, it would have been. I would have. Well, I would have molested somebody. But uh, it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> you can't report me with my safe space. They won't believe you. They didn't believe Mrs. McElroy when I rubbed her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know, you know, like some little retarded guy. He's like knows the deal, so he gets away with it. <laughs> I had uh, a few days before homecoming. I had one of the girls in the special ed class ask me to go with her to homecoming. Yeah. While I had my girlfriend in my arm, like arm around her, she walks up to me and she's like, "Hey, I just want to know, you know, I really like you, and would you want to go to home?" And I felt so just tense and awkward, and I didn't know what to say. I'm like, "Uh, thank you for asking, but you know, like, you didn't want to upset and hurt yeah. anybody." But I, I still remember like just not handling that the right way. That shit stays with you, you know? Thanks for asking, but you're a whore. <laughs> yeah, you should have kicked her in the shin. That's that's when you, you know, five years later, you see her in the middle of Playboy, and you're like, damn it, what did I, you know? Boy. Boy, I'll tell you what, I made this black coffee, like, and I was thinking about maybe putting some cream in it. I'll tell you, man, this shit is black as shit. Just the like, way you like it. This is black and strong. Yeah, this is nice like dark. This is you so put it in a big twelve inch mug. This coffee's so black <laughs> that if I drink this after nine PM I might get arrested. Like it's unbelievable. Yeah. So black <laughs> this, Tommy's grandfather wouldn't drink it. This coffee's so black oh. this coffee's so black a cop just tried to sprinkle some crack in it. <laughs> <laughs> but what what is that, man? What's that on your dash? Yeah. <laughs> this coffee's so black. That it's in jail for 20 years. <laughs> I don't know. No parole. For a minor offense. This coffee is so black that it doesn't take care of its kids. <laughs> it went to the it went to the gas station and got cigarettes and never came back. This coffee is... <laughs> uh, last week we started the show with wanting to kill white people. This week I started with black coffee jokes. Um... But yeah, man, it's been a good uh, last couple of days. Let me um, now that you guys can hear all this shit. Let me just set up the donations. Actually, we can keep talking because I don't have it set up yet. But uh, so I'm just babbling on here. But uh, but yeah, I, all I did was shovel today and like clean shit. And so I don't even know what's been going on. I, my whole day was fucked up. The kids are home from school, which is cool. But did your kids have school, Jake? No, no. Danny was was home today. And okay. Thankfully, she uh, you know helped me clear out the front and back you can we shoveled a bit i had a bunch of doctors and she wouldn't play with friends i was like all right this works out see you <laughs> have a blast the neighbor kid came over and helped us shovel and uh, we're right as we were done almost but i mean it's still pretty crazy that he came over these kids are just man this this dude's kid across the street his kids he's got these kids like doing everything they're like around the neighborhood like looking to cut yards like shovel shit like they're just like little I mean, entrepreneurs Meanwhile, <laughs> Gavin's in his room like, I think I found the next Pokemon, whatever. Uh, <laughs> He's like, Dad, I just placed top 50 in Fortnite. And you're like, yeah. get a job. Yeah. Well, that's even he Lazy said that. fuck. He said that. He was like, yeah, well, he never comes out. And I'm like, yeah, I know. He's a f whatever the fuck. And so then I like, I'm like, come over here and bang on the door if you want to hang out with him. I'll make him go outside. I was like, because he like, because <laughs> I told him, I was like, he likes hanging out with you. He's just a shy little quiet kid. I was like, I'll shove him out the door. Yeah, and uh, you know I'll make Beat him that win. introvert out of him. Yeah, oh, he got hit in the face with a snowball, and then he went inside, and I was like, "Get back out here!" Oh, and I bashed myself. I just took two ibuprofen because I bashed the shit out of myself. I uh, I went to pick Gavin up for a power bomb when we were fighting in the snow, and as I picked, <laughs> I, I picked him up, and because you know normally when you pick someone up, like they they kind of pick up easy, but he just swung his fucking giant legs. And his fucking foot smashed me in the eye socket. Oh, Jesus. Like his Full boot contact. smashed me. And I heard a crack when it hit me. Like I heard my like bone and skull feel like a crack noise. And I was like, oh, God, what did I just do? Uh, those so, are those hits that instantly you get that white flash and yep. headache right away. <laughs> what the fuck? Is somebody eating right now? Dummy, you fucking eating something? 
No. You sound like a fucking pig sucking on a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All that black talk got him in the mood for watermelon, and now he's just... Yeah. Just yeah. fucking going to town on watermelon sticks. What the fuck, man? It sounds like somebody's pussy is just being molested. Mangled. It sounds like Camilla Harris's pussy is being molested. <laughs> After dropping fuck? out, she had no choice. All right, well, let me play. Uh, we got a couple donations here that we're sitting We've got in here. we a new Twitch follower. Let me see if Hell we can play yeah. this. Take my pants off. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, guns for adults. He already followed me yesterday. <laughs> uh, maybe that was a replay. Um, I think it was a replay. Uh, guns for adults, thank you very much. What's up to the chat? How you doing? If you love Throwdown, show Throwdown some love. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, yeah. oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Damn, got to miss the show because of work. Fuck work. JQ the man. Joe, you're the best. Have a good show. Thank you, June the Patriots didn't get it done. The Patriots didn't get it done. We never got it done. We me- we might just get it done. What up, June Bug? Thanks for the three dollars. And um, yeah, I mean, hey, what the fuck? It happens, you know. Can't win them all. Can you guys hear the Should donations? Have, we we didn't lose the donations, did we? Yeah, we already lost the audio. Motherfucker <laughs> of all piss bucket. Let me play something. Wow. You get him back. Hey, uh, Troy, say something. You sexy pants. Wow. That might do it. Wow. We lost the goddamn you sound. You really do that. Fucking Onisi on you piece of shit. You know what? I'm going to play the donations. And maybe they'll, maybe they'll kick it in for you. Oh, shit. Here he comes. Oh, my God. He's got a big dick. You guys can keep talking if you like right now. Cho, I have a funny idea. Can please do it at some point on the show? Can you recreate the Boomer and JB clip by you just watching it and at the end just smugly respond? Okay, Boomer. I know it's kind of corny, the double entendre, but funny idea, love you. No, oh, that's a great point, Parker. That might be tough, but I could do that. That might be something we could do, uh, Parker. Parker, thank you for the twenty dollars and ten cents, you goofy, sexy pants. And uh, I'd have to honestly edit the uh, the boomer skits. Ah, yeah. Smoke weed every day. Wow. There is quite literally nothing better in the world than the taste of biting into a little Debbie's honey bun while high. Oh. It's like him licking cum off the body of Justin Bailey, and it's delicious. Mm. Wait. No. It didn't mean that I meant it tastes like you, me bum. <laughs> Yo, ridiculously small anus. Thank you for the $4.20. That is the funniest fucking name that I've heard in a while. Um, Yo, ridiculously small anus. Thank you for the donation. Okay, so now we can get back to the, uh, the call here and try to see who's working and what's not working and whatever the fuck else. Troy, welcome back, you sexy beast. That's what I said, oh. baby boy in the house. I feel so appreciated. Well, you should. It's great to hear you. Know that you're alive. Yeah, you're on the phone with Dummy and Jake. I mean, what a night. Dummy, Jake, and Troy. <laughs> this Lieutenant is... Asshole reporting for duty. Wow. It's really pretty cool. And slob seventy fives running wild in the chat right now. I'm sure. Yeah. Friggin' Tommy, so immature. He only eats pussy with the crust cut off. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> By the way, illegal in most countries. I am uh, uploading uh, the the uh, update, rather updating Halo Master Chief Collection. Does that mean that I'm going to get Halo Reach? It should be. It should be included. Oh my if, god! You have the. I am so pumped uh, up right now. Collection. I mean, listen. You can play. I can play Halo Reach on my Xbox. I've played it a bunch. But I'm assuming that they've fixed some things and made it a little better. Yeah, they they retooled and obviously, you know, oh. made it a bit sharper. It's at 60 frames. and Oh, my God. It I, runs dude, quite well. So I can't wait to play. I was playing like Mexican people mostly on Halo Reach. Cause I, I literally came. You did? Yeah, because I'm, I'm telling yeah. you. Troy, do you have Master Chief Collection? It's time to squad up tonight. 
I, I have like PTSD from when it launched. Remember, it didn't work for like a year and a half. Yes, yeah. like yes. Almost two years. It totally was unplayable. You Co-op know what? was literally unplayable due to lag. We don't. I got a refund for it. I don't think that. You know. I don't think the gaming industry talks about this enough. But if you remember back then, you know everything Halo after Halo Reach kind of was like Halo Four was kind of a bust, and it was like bad and. It felt like when Master Chief Collection came out, a lot of people who used to play Halo 1, 2, and 3 were like, I'm going to get this and I'm going to jump back into Halo. That was what you were hearing and it was like, oh my god, this is good news for the series. This is good news for all of us Halo fans. And then, like you just said, I took, a, I, I believe I took three days off of work. I literally yeah. took, I took three days off of work, we got home at midnight or whatever with the fucking game, and then you realized it wasn't going to work that night. And it was like, oh my god! All right, well tomorrow, I hope it works. What the fuck? And then it still didn't yeah, work. Yeah, it's just bunch of night jitters. It's like happens with every game, right? Yeah. But but that's the thing with you know, one. That's a sad state of gaming nowadays. Is that they release the title and then they can just fix it later. Yeah. Anthem, you know, the Master Chief Collection, WWE's, you know, all the 2K games. It's like, oh, fuck 2K20. We'll, we'll get these games out. And then we'll just patch it and fix it later on. And it's you know, oh, I remember when games didn't have to be patched. I don't mind them having to, to fix a few things, but not to add content that was promised. And you know, but Halo Four was doomed because that was the, they released it right at the time that the new Xbox was coming out. So people were going to the new console, so you couldn't play Halo Four on that's right uh, on the Xbox One, and they put it right between like what? Battlefield and Call of Duty. So, I thought you could play it on Halo. You really couldn't play it on Xbox One? You couldn't one? play it on the Xbox One. No, it, wow. it, it wasn't backwards compatible, I I think, until the Master Chief Collection, actually. No, Halo... Well, yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah, so, that in Halo so 5. So it was like everybody... I know I myself, I was like, oh, I got the new console. Now I, I can't play it, so what's the point? And it just... That's what made it fall super flat. We had a really good time on ODST, to be honest. Like, someone said that in the chat. Me and Troy... That was when I first met Troy was around yeah, that I time. Yeah, I said it in the chat, too. By the way, give me the wrench. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> the, 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 the campaign, firefight mode, fucking having to do the marathon and firefight to get the recon helmet. Yeah, firefight took, like, was great. Yeah, hours. ODST was my personal favorite. And like, then it came one. with all the DLC Ooh. for Halo Three. It came with all the multiplayer map packs. That was yeah, yeah. like, dude, yeah, like, if, extra maps but, and... but if Halo Master Chief Collection had worked, it would have brought a lot of people back to it, and then that would have gotten people hyped for Halo Five. Instead, like, I want to say, I mean. Honestly, seventy percent of everybody who bought the Master Chief Collection stopped playing Halo after that, and that was people that came back and they were like, "And then the game didn't work for seven months. It didn't work right for seven months. It yeah, didn't work totally at all. Turned off. Like, tur- it's not like we're just saying. Bad. It's not like, like oh, it, it, it it was it was literally unplayable. You couldn't connect to any yep. multiplayer match. You couldn't even locally play at times without it crashing. It, it was just." Uh, you know, inoperable. It, nothing worked. I was so mad at Halo, dude. I wanted to go to the neighbor's house and just beat their kids. Like, it was just... Yeah, I wanted seriously. To, or rape a cat. <laughs> like, go on a spree at the senior center again. Okay, Boomer. You know, Kamala Harris is a Boomer, right? She's 55, <laughs> so I call her a Boomer. That's why I That's put okay, Boomer. A boomer. They're all Boomers, man. Look at Trump. He's like a double Boomer. He's like a triple before, Boomer. I couldn't even figure out Instagram. I'm like, Christ, becoming a Boomer. <laughs> You fucking oh, boomer. Imagine if... Harris, it's, uh, it's okay, incarcerator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's you thought... be from now on in time. You're like, yeah. Like, cops roll out. Okay, incarcerator. She loves, well, put... let that... she loves putting <laughs> black people in jail she, for some reason. <laughs> they let that police, uh, let the guy that robbed the bank asking for $1,100 out of jail. I just heard about an update from that before. The guy was like in his late... Yes, politely. Well, he gave the teller a note that said, give me $1,100, no alarms, I hope I get caught. What and the reason the was, is he had nothing. He was, he was, you know, That's a real owing. power move. Yeah, I got so she gave, him, she gave him two grand, and he said, no, give me less. Because he knew 1100 would get him X amount of jail time, and, you know, any less than that would be, you know, not the, not the charge he wanted. He wow. wanted a specific charge. Because he was, he was basically homeless, he had 38 or 50 bucks left to his name. He had a bunch of medical issues, so he knew if he was in jail, he'd be fed, he'd have a place to stay, and he. So I guess now they let him out at this point in time. It's at least one story I saw where a guy did that because he had like cancer or something. He wanted treatment for whatever he had. Oh yeah, see that makes sense. 
That's one of those yeah, things. Yeah, because he had some type of, he had an illness as well, and he, I think he was suffering from depression too. So it's a genius idea, honestly. You but know, it's sad that it comes to that. That you have. It to, is sad that it, it is. really is. But you know, go, nowadays, go. nowadays, if you do that and you get caught, if you get enough news press, you know, some rich person might start a GoFundMe for you or something. Yeah, like let's like look. Like day when when white helped black. You know? I would say that you know what you got to do is you got to have a really sad story that's real, but then you got to do something completely ridiculous, like go to the bank and attempt to rob the bank with thirteen carrots. <laughs> Like you have, own them at people. Yeah, you throw the They're carrots. They're pretty threatening. Yeah, throw the carrots at people. Like nothing too crazy, but just throw them at people, and then like you know you write on the thing that you need whatever money for your cancer, and then that would make the news. And I bet you somebody would be like, ma- like man desperately trying to save his daughter's life robs bank with carrots, and then people his daughter's dying of leukemia. Like Rob, and, and it, just people would end up giving him the money. Like if he did that, but unless he got shot, if he got shot, then it's all worthless. But yeah, the yeah. guy that robbed the bank, he uh, he didn't even have a weapon on him, so he he, oh. he motioned to his waist, like no, oh, it don't matter, mimicking he had a gun. No, but I'm saying like so that that also helped him as well. You know, adding credence to your idea here. Yeah, if you really prove like oh he didn't even have a weapon on him, they know that. So that would you know add a little merit to your your sympathy claims i really wish uh, troy was here <laughs> troy was here for my anti-white people song last week it would have been great you missed it oh, that was classic and that the masturbating good. the masturbating guy with the circus music you really missed it that's one of the things we bonded over was our shared hate for white people and their love of tabletop oven i hope you <laughs> fuck yourself for more content like this i hope you guys subscribe down below here to corrupted nation for the shows we do throughout the weeks, the news, the podcasts, and everything else, plus over 30 hours of bonus content you cannot hear on YouTube. Every month, 30 hours of bonus content, including the Corrupted Podcast on the weekends, my podcast with my wife, Till Death Do Us podcast, and more, so much more, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. I'm Joe Cronin, this is Corrupted Nation, and I uh, hope you guys stick around for this insanity. Leave comments below, leave likes, and support us. With the likes, subscribe for a week, and uh, I think you guys will stick around. Thanks for listening. I want to make you laugh, but I also want to whack off right now, so I'll see you later. Here's some other videos you might have missed.